It's the testimony we've all been waiting for. Taylor Swift on the stand today saying there is no doubt in her mind Denver DJ David Mueller groped her during a photo op at Pepsi Center. Denver 7's Mark Stewart's been covering the trial since the very beginning. And Mark, this is not the Taylor Swift that we are used to seeing. Indeed, Anne, Taylor Swift says there is only one person to blame, and that is the DJ, David Mueller. She was confident, she was deliberate at times, even feisty, not once strained from her story. Taylor Swift has left the stage, now sitting poised on the witness stand in federal court. Swift's sharing her story behind this picture. Evidence, she says, proved David Mueller groped her before a Denver show. Swift says it was a definite grab, very long grab. It was long enough for me to be completely sure it was intentional. Telling Mueller's lawyer, your client could have taken a normal picture with me. Over and over, Swift told the jury Mueller grabbed her backside. In one exchange saying, he did not touch my rib, he did not touch my arm, he grabbed my bare expletive. Taylor Swift was blunt. I think that was a really smart play. Um, jurors appreciate candor. And, you know, it, it provides a sort of emotional sting to what happened. When asked why she didn't immediately report the alleged assault, Swift said she didn't want to ruin the night for fans waiting in line to take a picture. In another exchange, she told Mueller's lawyer, I'm not going to make you or your client make me feel like this was my fault. She was prepared. Um, this is something she's worked through and practiced, and she was on point. This fan who was in the courtroom says the star was credible. When they would ask her a question, she just knew exactly what to say. And, you know, she told the truth. There is a chance that we could see Taylor Swift again if and when her own attorney calls her as a witness. We're live at federal court tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7. All right, Mark, thank you. And one person missing from the courtroom today was Taylor's mom, Andrea. We're told she's sick. Yesterday, she got emotional during her testimony, breaking down in tears while on the witness stand. And we've been telling you about post-it note signs popping up around the federal courthouse in downtown Denver in response to the trial. Here's the latest one. It's the new one today. It says, I knew you were trouble, which, uh, as you know, are lyrics from one of Swift's hit songs. Right now on the DenverChannel.com, we have a live blog update of the first four days of that trial, which is expected to last nine days.